Can I ask you guys a question? Who was here in 2012 and saw me bomb my ass off? <laughs> I, I want to say sincerely from the bottom of my heart about that show, fuck all of you. Uh, I really, it was one of the worst experiences of my life. Anyway, we're going to try to do this. You know, it was cool. Last time there was like 150 drunk 15 year olds, and this time, yeah, very cool. We got over a thousand horny 23 year olds, and that's pretty cool. That's cool. Is that your own? That's your friend? You got your arm around your friend? Can I tell you something, Miss? And I'm, gonna, I'm doing this as a favor to him. He's not your friend. He doesn't actually care about you as a friend at all. He's in love with you. I'm not making fun of you. I've been you. And I want to save you some heartache. I've done the thing where I'm friends with a girl and I'm actually in love with her and she's like, oh my god, I've got just such a good friend. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm dying inside. Don't do that. I've made a woman a mixtape for nothing. That's how old I am, I was a mixtape. Ain't that crazy? I'm 40 years old. Don't be me, dog. Make the move tonight. It's like a not Catholic convention. That's the fuck you came here for. Walk out with a wife. Walking to the convention center at 8.30 in the morning. I got in at 2.30 in the morning. I'm a little tired. Things could only get worse, so that's good. Also, how many people come to this f***ing show that is at a convention center? Last time was in a hotel conference room. How many more Kanak Catholics entered this country that we've now moved to the San Antonio Convention Center? It's all a little disconcerting. How many people are here? Close to those people. Oh, good yeah. God. And how many people are expecting the show? 500 to 1,000. Holy shit, this is horrendous. We're gonna move all these chairs up for the show whenever that happens. I mean like up here. Okay. I would rather have less seats and add chairs as if as it's full. Because what happens if you do this, first of all, even if we move everything up, if you do this, nobody's gonna want to sit at the front, they're all gonna go sit in the middle, and then it's gonna be that much more awkward. So you need to eliminate any possibility for them to sit in the back unless they have to. Hey, 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 hey. You got three thousand seats for five more people. And a 15 foot fucking cane came in the audience. So here's what they didn't tell me. They sent me a 3D render of the room. It looked kind of small. I walk in there and what I've realized after losing my fucking mind for approximately an hour, they have one room for the entire event and they have chairs set up for every person that's going to the convention. That's like 3,000 people. I'm expecting 500 at my event. So there's gonna be 2,500 empty chairs as they expected it to be. So we'll see what happens. Maybe the show doesn't happen. Maybe I cancel it. Maybe I give them back their checks. Maybe I take a flight home tonight, go cry in my wife's arms and uh, she yells at me for losing some money. It's all good. The issue, the reason they won't close the airwall for me is because AV needs to watch the performance after me and they can't watch it if they're behind the airwall. So we gotta find a way to open up the airwall in time for that show. I can end my show 20 minutes early, maybe honestly I'll end it 15 minutes early and then we'll go outside, do Q&A, do mute and greet, whatever you wanna do. Whatever makes y'all happier if the show goes well. If the show doesn't go well, I'm gonna storm off the stage, eat myself into a coma and uh, never talk to any of you guys ever again in my life. <laughs> Awesome. You're the best. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. You're awesome. Thank you. All right. Now if I bomb, it's going to be really embarrassing because you did all this for me. So let's just all pray that it goes. We'll throw up a prayer to Jesus. I'll throw up a prayer to my God. Okay. Awesome. Got the wall. Don't have to cut the performance short. The sound is still good. I'm texting him right now and then I got to call my wife back and get yelled at because I, I hung up on her for this call. <laughs> So, so you did Orlando 2000. I was four in 2000, so I was there. Can you explain? You were four? You were probably drunk in the third row. <laughs> <laughs> Could you explain what happened in Orlando? Like, I don't... What, what caused you to fall? What was it? Do you guys actually care to hear this story? I care! I care! I care! <laughs> so, the room setup is very important for a comedy show. I was freaking out about the way this room got set up earlier. The way the room was set up was not ideal for a comedy show, and the speakers we're only in the front half of the audience. So there's a crazy echo, first of all, for the front half, whatever they were hearing, I don't know if y'all are hearing, there's like a big echo for me, they were hearing that too. So every punchline, the timing's messed up, and then the back half couldn't hear me at all. And you were drunk at 14. So it was just a volatile mix and everything went south very quickly. I paid my opener, like Hassan did 10 minutes here and he stuck it out and did the whole My opener I asked to do 10 minutes after four he got off stage. He was traumatized. I don't think he quit comedy to be honest with you. I never saw that guy again. 
So that's what happened in 2009. Guys, I'm gonna go, but have a good night. God bless, thank y'all so much. Give it up for our guys, thank you for What's up, Noodle Dicks? Hey, you might not be a cowboy, but if you lasso you a bad bitch, you probably need to get the Blue Chew to impress her. You know what Blue Chew is. They've been rocking with us for years. Also, I want you guys to use Blue Chew. Go to bluechew.com, promo code Akash. You'll get your first order for free. All you gotta do is pay $5 for shipping. That's it. And here's what I want. If you use the Blue Chew, I want you to send your stories. Ladies, if you have your man use it. Fellas, if you use it yourself, send your stories. I'm gonna read the best story in the next Blue Chew promo. Bluechew.com. Um, promo code Akash. All you gotta do is pay $5 shipping. Also, go check out the safety information. Don't be a fucking idiot. Shout out to Blue Chew, man. They've been rocking with Flagrant for years, and now they're sponsoring the stand-up clip, so we appreciate y'all. I want to hear your stories.